In the era when mankind worshipped gods, a town named Minas worshipped a stone god named Minotaur. The queen of the Minotaur wanted to worship and see a living god. A unification was made between her and the beast god. The queen conceived the son of the beast god, Minotaur. At the thirteenth month of the pregnancy, the baby Minotaur was cut from the queen's belly resulting in her death. A nearby town named Thena was accused of the death of a royal in Midas. Their punishment was to take eight virgins from the Thenas to satisfy the hunger of the born Minotaur. The people of Thena trembled and gave their children to the Minotaur to be eaten. They prayed for a savior. A prophecy was laid out that the Minotaur would be killed by a strong warrior filled by love and hatred at the same time. The movie begins with a man named Theo. He is seen with his best friend Nab Danu. Danu helps his friend by taking care of the sheep with him. Theo. Hears wolves attacking his flock. He runs towards them to meet some of his wolves dead. He. Chases the wolves and ends up with a leper in a cave. The leper tells Theo to go look for his fiancée who was taken by the Minas people and is presumed to be dead, killed by the Minotaur. The leper tells Theo that it's his destiny to slay the Minotaur. Theo looks at a necklace that belonged to his dead fiancé. Theo is seen with his father. He tells his father about what the leper told him. He asks his father the permission to join the eight virgins that will be taken in the next three days. His father gets furious and tells Theo to go with the flock to the mountains. Theo's father, who is the king, asks a female called Diddy to go and lay with Theo. Theo rejects her and she leaves. Danu is also seen with his mute girlfriend. They plan on how to hide from the Minas people. Tyro, a childhood friend of Theo is seen having a fight with him. They see the ships of the Minas and leave. People are being taken by the Minas people and Theo secretly exchanges himself with a female. The captured people are seen in a carriage. Danu takes of the cloth of a person sleeping beside them and realized that it was Theo. Theo talks with Tyro about plans on killing the Minotaur. A crazy girl starts a fight with Danu's girl. They are taken to the King of the Minas. They kneel and we see the King of the Minas with his sister, the princess. They inhale a strange kind of gas into their system. The crazy girl and Diddy are brought in front of the pit. The princess makes them sexually aroused for the Minotaur's taste. The pit is opened and the Minotaur roars. It refuses to come outside and Theo attacks the guards. This interrupts the ritual and the princess asks them to take the new snack of the Minotaur to their cages. The princess asks her maiden to bring Theo to her. She tries to seduce Theo not realizing that her brother was watching her all this while. Theo resists temptation and asks the princess why she is seducing him. The king enters and slaps his sister. Theo is taken and the king asks his sister to have his baby. The princess pretends to care and agree with her brother's quest. Theo is lowered into the pit of the monster. The others are also placed into the pit. The minotaur realizes this and starts to hunt for them. A female whose family were already worshippers is killed by the minotaur with its horns. The crazy girl also feels comfort as she holds the hands of a human. It turned out to be a skeleton and the crazy girl screams. Danu comes and meet her. Theo sees the mute girl and goes with her to find the others. They hear the screams of the crazy girl and Theo with the mute girl go to check. The princess runs from her brother and jumps into the pit, saying that she would never have his child. Theo and the others meet with Tyro, they see an object moving towards them and are prepared to kill it. It turns out to be the princess and Theo stops them. She requires to help them escape but the crazy girl refuses help from the princess. She keeps talking and the horn of the minotaur pierces through her mouth. 
The others run and meet Diddy lying on the ground. The maid of the princess is seen. Trying to open the back door of the Minotaur's pit. The king catches her and takes her away. The princess leads them to the to the back door. She calls to her maiden not knowing that she had been taken by the king. The Minotaur is heard approaching them. They try to break down the door but to no avail. The Minotaur attacks them and the mute girl suddenly screams saying the Minotaur. The Minotaur kills Tyro's fat friend and they all flee. Theo, Danu, and his girlfriend meet a man that has been in the pit for a long time. He takes them to his cave. Theo starts to ask questions about his presumed dead fiancé. That's when Danu realizes that Theo came for his fiancé and not for them. This causes an argument between the best friends. Danu and his girlfriend leave the cave. Tyro meets with Diddy. They have a conversation and Diddy confesses her feelings of love for him. They try climbing up the pit. Diddy doesn't make it and she fall, piercing her back on the Minotaur's horn. The king and his guard go to the pit through the back door. They realize the Minotaur approaching and king escapes, leaving the guard to be eaten. Danu leaves the cave and see the Minotaur. He starts praying and Theo hears. Theo starts calling his friend but to no avail. He hears his friend being killed and he starts to cry. He sees his fiancé and goes to hug her. It turns out to be the skeleton of his dead fiancé. The princess comes to speak with him. She explains that the queen that gave birth to the monster was her mother. She further says it was a lie that the people of Thena killed a prince from their city. They decide to use the gas in the pit to kill the Minotaur. The, the duo meet with Tyro. They see the Minotaur and it attacks Tyro. Tyro is killed and Theo takes the princess into a pool. He goes to see the Minotaur. The Minotaur attacks him and he dodges. This causes the Minotaur to break his horn. The Minotaur chases after Theo and he uses a pendant to scrape the wall. A spark of fire is lit and it blows up the pit. Theo jumps into the pond for safety. The fire goes through the pit entrance and burns the face of the king. The Minotaur is not dead and it attacks Theo. Theo uses the broken horn to pierce the Minotaur and he kills it. Theo goes to take Danu's girlfriend and the trapped man. He escape the pit and meet the king lying on the ground. The princess prevents the king from breathing and kills him in the process. The princess asks the people to take off their minotaur masks and they do so. Theo, Danu's girl, and the trapped man go outside, looking at the sun after a while. The moral of the story is that, it's sometimes better to keep one's dignity by fighting back instead of just giving in to the enemy.